Over the last six or eight months, I have run into a lot of students that I had at the beginning of my career. And one of the things that they have all started their conversation with was, I have made something out of myself, and let me tell you what I did. I guess at the beginning of my career with those older students, I must have really got on my soapbox and told them they could make something out of themselves and they were smart enough to do it. If I had to think of one word to describe Miss Staten, I think that one word would be determined. She is determined to have students to do their very best and no matter their ability level, she wants them to be successful and that determination shines through in all that she does. She has a very outgoing personality. She has been a teacher and has taught many different grades. She's taught fourth grade. She has gone from first grade to sixth grade, which was a huge jump this year. Um, she has been wonderful. I've enjoyed working with Guynell over the years. I think she's very deserving, just based on the way she raised my brother and I all by herself. Hard worker, endless motor, um, loves children, has always loved children from the moment she started teaching. She's obviously a fantastic teacher. I've seen her work. She can be downright scary sometimes, but also she, she has a good balance. You can tell that the kids really enjoy having her and they laugh and they cut up, but then when it's time to work, it's time to work. She rewards us when we need it, and at the same time, if we don't need it, we get what's coming for us. Instead of just telling us to stop, she does something so everyone knows not to do it again. I would want my students to remember me as being fair and treating them all equally and having high expectations for all of them. Everything that she does leaves an impact. Whether it be her teaching method, her attitude, the way she gets people going, the way she, I mean, everything really. Her whole teaching career has and will continue to inspire and uh, prosper all of us throughout the rest of our lives. You are certainly deserving of Teacher of the Year. You are a wonderful teacher and I can speak from experience not only from an administrative level but from a personal level because of course you taught both of my children way back and so I know the quality of teacher you are and what a great job you do. Congratulations and best of luck to you. God bless and I wish you well. You are a great teacher and I'll remember you for the rest of my life. You always inspired me and we all love you. We think you uh, deserve Teacher of the Year every year. Good luck. We love you what he said. As a student that struggled through math classes in middle and high school, I realized that maybe I needed to make a difference in that. I had a fantastic teacher who inspired me to teach out of the box when I was in high school, and I also had a very difficult teacher who made us learn straight from the book, come in, put our problems on the board, and that was it. There was not a whole lot of interacting and teaching going on. And so I thought at that point, okay, this is it. I want to be the one that makes a difference to the students like me who need a little more explanation than here's the problems, go do them. And uh, that's when I became a math teacher to try to make a difference. For a student like myself who it took more than one shot to understand something, those are the light bulb moments I look for each and every day. And when I hear those and see those, those are the things that I want my students to remember. The biggest thing I think she's deserving is just how much, not just how good of a teacher is, how much she cares about kids. A lot of times, even after school, she'll stay two or three hours and help kids with tutoring or anything that they need. Lindsay is an excellent teacher. She um, always is innovative in the classroom. Her students are always engaged and she's a true instructional leader at BHP. I love Miss Wade because she's like really easy to talk to and she's really funny and she makes you feel like you can come to her for anything. When you go to her for tutoring, she doesn't like say what day you have to come. She says what's best for you and she, she works her schedule around her students when uh, with a lot of teachers it's the other way around. When I needed tutoring, she didn't hesitate and she helped me out and I ended up passing the year for math with almost a a. She's very nice. She's a very caring teacher. If you need help with something, she'll help you. She is always going over and beyond. She will work with students who are not her students. She's willing to help anyone, anytime. She is fabulous. Good luck, Lindsay. 
I love you so much. Thank you for everything you've done for me, and I hope you win District Teacher of the Year. I love you, Miss Wade. Very proud of you, babe. Appreciate you being there for me and uh, being there for those appointments. Uh, loving on my family, loving on, um, loving our little dog Rudy, and uh, and uh, I'm very proud of you. Always been proud of you. I mean, you're you're the reason we're here at BHP, and you've given me the opportunities to do what I need to do, and I appreciate it. It was any one particular person that inspired me to become a teacher. My parents just instilled a joy of books and reading and learning and I just have a true love for children. She's here for the kids, uh, just growing as an educator, uh, so there's a lot of warmth for the kids and uh, just a tremendous educator. She's smart, dedicated, and believes in her students. The student that was told that they would never walk, taking their first steps when they were with me at six years old, the student who is finally learning to read at nine years old. Um, you know, the students that's finally talking and communicating, just those kinds of stories are, are what makes it worthwhile. She's always giving, she's always selfless, giving up most of her Saturdays, if not all of them, to go work with homebound special needs children. I want my students to remember me for um, a person, their teacher that always loved them, always believed in them, just always there to love and hug them, even if it was you know, a bad day at home, they could come in, they knew I was going to love them and teach them and help them reach their full potential when others did not believe in them. In her class, every day she's taught me one thing and that was compassion. Because even when we had a child that was acting up or, or talking out of turn, no matter what it was, she always had compassion for them. So, as we grew in the classroom, I became a more compassionate person. and. I started showing that compassion not only to the kids in her class, but even when I went back to BHP. Even with um, the injury, the concussion she suffered, she still uh, loves what she does and she still wants to continue doing it. And I think uh, that's really important because honestly, normally, most people once they get, you know, bucked off the horse, they don't want to get back on, but she's still wanting to continue, still loving what she does. I believe Miss Barefoot deserves to be District Teacher of the Year for her passion and dedication to always put her students first. Kim Barefoot, very proud of you. And you're an awesome educator and you deserve to be the District Teacher of the Year. I'm so proud of you Miss Barefoot. I hope you win. Good luck. I love you and we're proud of you for what you've done and everything you will continue to do. And that's why I love Miss Barefoot so much. I love you Miss Barefoot. When I was in high school, I was failing the second semester of my senior year, and a science teacher who had me in the seventh and eighth grade, who knew what type of student I was, collaborated with an administrator, and together they were very persistent in getting me to attain my goal of graduating. And so at that moment of graduation, I realized because of those two people that I wanted to become a teacher. She has the greatest love for children that you will ever see in a teacher. She is compassionate, she is loving, she is ultra professional. You will never see her without a smile on her face. My mom is a great mom and a teacher because she's always going out of her way to help others. She's always reaching out to inspire and motivate and helping others to reach their goal. Uh, she is an excellent colleague, a wonderful teammate. She has great relationships built here with her uh, colleagues, but especially her students. Uh, she's never rattled. She's always calm, loving, supportive. She's a fantastic advocate for her kids. Uh, she's just wonderful to have in the building. Uh, I would love that if she were to teach my personal child. She's sweet and she helps others and she's really kind. She helps us when we get hurt and she's really cute. She's nice and funny. She never gives up. Like if she gets something wrong, she like she just keeps on trying. She's wonderful. She's dedicated to her parents and her students. She's always reaching out for to parents, um, trying to build those relationships. And I personally love collaborating with Michelle because we're both from the north, and you know us girls from the north, we gotta stick together. I want my students to remember me as somebody who cultivated their young minds into becoming somebody or someone extraordinary, intelligent, and knowledgeable while capturing their curiosity in this big world.
Michelle, we love you and we're so proud of you. Michelle, we are so super proud of you and good luck to you. I wish you the absolute best and uh, the best of luck in the future. Good luck, Miss Richardson. We love you. I love you, Miss Richardson. Good luck. I wish you the best. I'm very proud of you for achieving this goal. Good luck. As long as I can remember, I've always wanted to be a teacher. My sister and I would always play school when we got home from school each day. And teaching's just a good way that I feel like I can give back to others all that I've been given in my life. I hope that my students remember me, most of all, for just the love that I have for them. And just the life skills that I've tried to instill in them and teach them. That's what I hope the kids remember me most for. My mom is very deserving of this board because she is a very good cook. She can make the best caramel cakes in the southeast. She can fish like nobody's business. She loves when the boys come home from frog gigging. She can win that award for the best frog gigging eating contest. And she hates to lose, so she better win this award, Anderson, too. Oh, I always remember Miss Dillon because she is so Polly's always loved children. Um, she's always had a place in her heart for them. Um, I guess that's why she's put up with me so long. She, she really just, just to see what she pours into the kids, um, how much she loves them and how much she takes each one of them and just wants to do, each one of them to do better. She loves her kids outside of the classroom, that she really forms relationships with them and their families, and it's not just about teaching them math, or teaching them reading, but about teaching them life skills and how to be a responsible student. Uh, not only is she an amazing teacher, she's just an amazing person. She is so caring, uh, she's so loving, she does everything she can to take care of everyone around her. If I could have my daughter in Polly's class every year, I would do it without a doubt. Um, she's just a fantastic person, fantastic teacher. Hey best buddy, I'm so proud of you and I hope you win, you definitely deserve it. Polly, I want to wish you the best of luck. I think, hands down, you deserve to be our District Teacher of the Year. Seriously, Mom, you deserve this award because you're the best teacher and the best mom, and I love you so much. I and the kids are so proud of you. We love you, and congratulations. Miss Neal, we're so proud of you, and we hope you win. Both my parents are very influential and my decision to become a teacher. My mother always uh, supported me in everything that I wanted to do. And my father was in education for 40 years. There are a ton of memories. I think every day is a, is a new day, which brings more memories. I hope that they remember, remember me as someone who impacted their life um, in a positive way, someone who made history fun, um, a teacher that they could come to and talk to and trusted. All right, what makes Michael a great teacher is uh, Number one, his, his, his uh, ability to build relationships with his kids. He has a great rapport with kids. Me being a former history teacher myself, sometimes it's difficult to get kids to love history and to, and to get interested in history, and he seems to have a knack for making it interesting for, for all of the kids. You're fun, and you're, you're athletic, and you're active. You probably don't know this about Mr. H, but he's a pretty good rapper. You always make learning fun and class fun, and you never yell at us, even though we might get crazy. He's a great person. His personality shows through in his teaching. He inspires me. I don't think there's ever a dull moment in his classroom, and I know that impacts the kids. You never have to wonder why he's at school because you know it's he's there to teach and inspire the kids to be better people. He's just a great person. He's a great teacher. The students love him. He's very, you know, engaging and interactive when he teaches. He's on top of the tables. I think what really got him this award this year was his ability to dance like Michael Jackson. A large part of his success I attribute to myself uh, because he learned everything from me. Even though I am a first year teacher and he's a veteran, uh, my style, how I dress, the way I talk and act with the kids, he total copycat. But you know, I'm proud of him because with him winning this award, I sort of feel like I won the award as well. So. If he gets District Teacher of the Year, then it's like me getting District Teacher of the Year. Michael, congratulations. You're, you're, you're going to be a great representative of Belt Middle School. I look forward to uh, better things to come in the future. Good luck for District Teacher of the Year. Good luck, Mr. Hitch. You're awesome. Mr. Hitch, I just wanted to wish you good luck. 
you're the most deserving teacher in this whole group, I know. Mr. Hitch, when you win this award, please don't forget to dedicate it to me, because it's both of ours. My first grade teacher, she was one of the most kindest, lovingest teachers that I had. It was during her class that I experienced death for the first time, and that came out as fear in me. But Miss Drake kept loving on me and assuring me that everything was okay and that she would take care of me. And that really made a difference because then eventually my fear subsided and I was able to focus on school. And as a teacher, I wanted to be able to do that for the kids who might be hurting. You know, while I'm trying to teach them and help them to be the best person they could be, I also want to be there to love them and to make them feel secure and just make a difference in their lives. She cared about all of her students because she made sure you were learning and she did whatever it took to make sure that you knew what she was talking about. Michelle Crawford is an exceptional teacher. She um, works with our kids tirelessly to make sure that they are achieving what they're capable of. She forces them to uh, do their very best at all times. Um, she pushes them to levels that they don't even realize that they can achieve. There is no escaping Michelle Crawford. She's relentless in her pursuit to make sure that students complete their assignments. And I guess that's what's most impressive about her is that she genuinely loves her students and is willing to go the extra mile to ensure that they experience success. Mom, you are a great mom and you deserve being the teacher of the year because you are a bunny and you push your kids to the limit. She's just an exceptional teacher, kids love her, teachers love her, um, parents love her, and um, she is very deserving of teacher of the year. I want my students to remember me as being their number one fan. Uh, good days, bad days, no matter what comes, I want them to know that I believe in them and I support them and that I'll always be there to help them, no matter how old they get or what grade they're in, or even if they're adults, I want them to know that Miss Crawford cares and that she's there for them. I hope you and Miss Crawford. We love you and we will certainly miss you next year. Good luck. We are extremely proud of you. Congratulations on being High Path Middle School's 2015-16 Teacher of the Year. Thanks, Mom, for everything you did for us. I love you and good luck. Jennifer Jane Bates Fleming, you owe us one. <laughs>